Yo, 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 what's up, what's up, man, what's up, what's up? Come on in, y'all, come on in, come on in. We chillin', we chillin'. Y'all already know exactly what time it is. We're back here to serve some more game on the ground for them hungry hounds. So just got the pound and are ready for the next round. Y'all was in your broke game stream. Oof. Wonder what, what's he playing? What's he got going on over there? Curious. Probably some anime game, huh? Mountain Dew is different, man. That's all I can say is Mountain Dew is different. But, uh, what's up, everybody? Appreciate y'all for tapping in, man. We chilling, we chilling. Y'all already know what time it is. Back here, so some more game on the ground from over house. You just got the pound and ready for the next round. Some dragon game RPG figures. But, uh, anyways. <clears throat> yeah, man. How's everybody day doing today? Uh, my day was alright. My day's been pretty chill, you know, pretty normal, laid back chill average day in the regularly scheduled program you know there's really not much to complain about <clears throat> and not really too much to boast about other than the fact that I was able to wake up this morning you know a lot of people get mad because they got to wake up the next day and do it again that's because they be looking at life through uh, a di uh, the wrong lens you know they look at it through a uh, um, man I have to do this the next day instead of I get to wake up the next day because you know a lot of people they don't get that privilege and it's sad, but, it, you know, that's just how it is at the end of the day, you know. So let me know how your guys' day was down there in the comments below. Also, let me know where you guys are tapping in from. I always am curious to know where my viewers be tapping in from. It's always interesting how we can be on different parts of the world and still tap into the same program at the same time, you know. It's, it's, it's like looking through a portal that you can't necessarily reach through. So, yeah, man. Uh, with that being said, once we hit 800 likes, we're going to jump into this first topic, man. We're going to be talking about how... Um, why people feel the need to prove themselves and why they crash out doing so. So, yeah, that's what we're getting on about. Uh, we need just less than 50 more likes, so pe everybody just keep on tapping the screen, and we're going to be there in just a minute, man. We're going to be there in just a minute, you know. So, with that being said, let me take one more drink. All right. You know, <clears throat> a lot of people crash out due to the feeling of needing to prove themselves in unnecessary circumstances. You know, people, uh, the reason why you see so many people that are going to, uh, getting put behind, you know, bars and stuff like that is because, um, they feel the need to prove themselves to somebody or a group of people, uh, in a circumstance that does not need it, you know. A lot of people prove that they can, um, off somebody. A lot of people prove that they can, you know, go steal from that store, you know, at weapon point, um. When it's not necessary, you know, it's not necessary. All those circumstances are unnecessary circumstances that people feel the need to prove themselves in. And that's why they end up behind bars, because they're doing stupid stuff that they're not that they're not supposed to do. And, and people say, oh, yeah, I can do this, I can do that, you know, I'm, I'm, I got this out here, I got that out there. Nobody cares. I don't understand why people feel the need to prove the fact that they can off somebody or they can steal from a, a store, you know, uh, at Weapon Point. I never understood that. It's goofy. And then you got people who are put behind bars who are crying, talking about somebody snitched on me when you out here doing goofy stuff in the first place. Like, bro, what is wrong with you? You're getting mad because you think somebody snitched on you. Meantime, you're out here doing this, this thing that you're not supposed to do in the first place. And you start crying and whining how somebody's... Like, no, it don't make no sense. People don't want to accept responsibility for their actions. And those actions lead to getting them put behind bars. And they lead to um, getting played with, too. That's all I'm going to say. They lead to getting played with. And then they start crying about how it sucks in there, this and that. And, oh, I can't survive in here. Or I'm going to snitch on this person to get out or whatever. And they get mad when people put when 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 people in the streets put them down for doing what they wasn't supposed to do instead of holding it down like they're supposed to do. It's goofy, man. There's a lot of gun and tails out here uh, because they're put in a situation to where they feel the need to prove themselves because of the people that they're around. You are the people that you you are the company that you keep. So with that being said, if you are around people who are um, street prone, you know, prone to doing street stuff hood stuff, whatever, uh, ghetto stuff, you're going to end up being one of those people who, who becomes street prone, who becomes ghetto prone, pretty much. Um, next thing you know, 
you get caught, now you're behind bars, and now you're crying because you said somebody snitched on you, whatever the case may be, when really, you snitched on yourself because you're out there doing the goofy stuff when you know you ain't supposed to. You know, there's... People talk about how they turn to the streets because they ain't got no other way to get money or nothing like that. When that's, that's, that's cap. It's cap. There's different ways that you can get money legally instead of illegally. You, they're just too lazy. You know, they're too lazy. They're too impatient. They want the money and they want it now. That's basically how it is. They can't, they can't go a week or two weeks without getting a check. They want it now, and that's why they turn to the streets, and that's why they crash out so much, because they want everything now, and it don't work that way. You know, it don't. And it's goofy when they get mad at the at the goofy price that they won for the goofy games that they were playing. It don't make no sense, man. So, when you find yourself in a position or a situation or circumstance that you need to prove yourself to somebody... Um, more often than not, that's a situation that you're not supposed to be in. About nine, nine and a half times out of ten. I'd say about nine and a half times out of ten. That's a situation that you shouldn't be in, that you're not supposed to be in. If you have to prove to somebody that you're this or you're that, get out of there immediately. And get those people from around you. They're not, they're not the type of people that you need in your life. They're not the type of people who are going to help you to help to push you to your goal to achieve your goal they're not they're not going to do nothing you know all they're going to do is drag you down oh you won't do this word bet say i won't you won't bet go out and do it next thing you know police roll up on you and you start screaming and crying like you're the victim that's not it man that's not it it's goofy but yeah man keep those people from around you cuz they they're not they're not for you. They're not for you at all. I promise you that. They're not for you. So I'm going to go ahead and get up on out of here, man. Uh, I'll be right back with the next episode. Appreciate y'all for tapping in. Make sure y'all share with your friends, your families, your mummies, your aunties, your grannies, and everybody else that y'all know. Square business. That's 100% facts. And I'll be right back with the next episode. Deuces.